sweet. We cannot wait to show all of you guys the different ways you can get engaged and involved in the community for IoT. There's no one better to talk about that than our CEO, my co-founder, Manav Gupta. Good morning, guys. Thank you for coming. It is incredible. When we first uh, moved to Hong Kong, we had a little square, four square meter office. And over the last year, so many things have changed. I remember when we first started hosting events, we'd have 10 to 15 people show up, and we felt we were so lucky and so excited as we started to support and evangelize this very important topic that was dear to all of us. I remember coming to Hong Kong, not really understanding how we could get involved, but recognizing this was such an important thing, and we had to find a way. We got a small team together, we started making some investments, and we started building out our processes to really help develop Hong Kong's ecosystem and their focus towards IoT. I usually don't like to read, but this is an important day for all of us and for the ecosystem, so I'm going to read some prepared statements. Um, this really, really is a big deal for all of us, and I hope I can't thank you guys for coming so early in the morning and kicking this day off right. Werner Vinch, has anyone heard of Werner Vinch? A couple of you guys. He was one of the contributors to the Singularity University. He stated, we are on the edge of change comparable to the rise of human life on Earth. We are literally moving faster today than we've ever moved before. Ray Kurzweil calls out human history's law of accelerating returns, which basically states that we know more today than we ever knew before and as a result, we're moving five to six times faster every decade than we've ever moved before. What we did in the last 100 years, we've done in the last 15. And what we did, what we do in the next seven years is an entire 100 years combined. As we move into the next decade, we're going to see that speed accelerate even faster. And we'll do 100 years of development in just a year, and at some point in the future, in just a month. It is an incredible time to be alive and an incredible time to be in this industry. Today, the only thing we're really limited by is our imagination and our ability to put thoughts and our experiences together. Our experiences shape our ideas. And the only thing that limits us is us calling out that there was a different way we knew things and not really understanding how we can reimagine new objects now, today, with a completely new paradigm. Our cognitive biases make it very hard for us to actually understand things can be different. How many of you guys used the personal computer when it first came out? Did you guys actually think if someone told you the personal computer would change your entire life, would any of you believe that little box could have changed everything forever? And the same thing when we went into mobile. I knew I did. I had no idea that that was actually a possibility. And that was because I was limited by my own thoughts. Today, the same thing is happening in IoT and in the connected world. We are on the edge of change. And just like everything around us has been invented by others like us, we have an opportunity to reinvent it all over again, this time with completely new parameters. It's ex as exciting of an industry and a space and time as the invention of the telegraph, the keyboard, TCPIP, the internet, the airplane, the car, or whatever else you guys really believe were big changes. It is literally the biggest time in all of our lives and for humanity. Today, we all have an opportunity to reimagine and reinvent it all over again. This time with a longer tail view. I feel like all of us have lost ourselves in our devices today. We are very consumed by our smartphones, by our tablets, by our laptops, but we've lost touch with this magical world that we live in. It's one of the reasons why we wanted to set up our space here in PMQ and also host this conference in PMQ, because it really gives you a feel of how beautiful life really is. The promise of IoT for us is for us to actually coexist with our devices. For devices this time to go back to the background so we can actually go back to start living again. 
the types of companies that you're going to see this week, the kinds of speakers you're going to talk to and, and, and learn from that are operating in this space are much beyond the tech, beyond the prototypes, beyond the growing valuations. They are all really here to help us understand the potential of unlocking new data through new things and really change the world that we all live in completely. Will we today, as a community and as an industry, be able to unlock data that's going to give us insights to address global warming, understand where pollutants are coming from, and actually curb CO2 emissions? Are we going to be able to cure health-related ailments and diseases and work towards prolonging life? Will we be able to identify new forms of energy beyond fossil fuels through new unlocked data? Are we going to actually be able to improve and induce our speed of learning? Or improve our own personal energy levels, the way we live, the way we sleep? Understand and address world hunger? All of this today, in reality, is not that far-fetched when we start with a foundation of unlocking the world's data. <clears throat> and then everything that comes beyond that, in terms of the AIs and the systems and the processes, actually will help us make sense of it all. The promise for us from IoT and the potential is for a really fully connected yet disconnected world where technology is no longer in the forefront and doesn't require us to check in on it all the time, but checks in with us when the time is right. The opportunity is honestly, truly endless. And you guys need to see this to understand it. For all of us at Brink, we're learning every single day. And for all of you guys who have actually built this industry, we'd love to learn from you. And for all of you who've been in this industry just for a few years and have just started dabbling, I invite you guys to learn further and really dig deep over the next few days. And for all of you who are just starting to learn, please sit down, absorb, and see how you can get involved. When we had the concept to set this conference together, we recognized Hong Kong had all the ingredients to really position itself as an IoT startup hub in Asia, as well as maybe the world. We had all of the key ecosystem players, and you guys are all here today. We have over 700 people signed up, compared to 15 when we first set this up. Hundreds of investors, retailers, distributors, manufacturers. We have over 150 IoT consumer startup founders, 60 different startups that are doing demos, and 30 that are pitching. It is an incredible time. We're so excited to have all of you guys here. I'm excited that I'm nervous. <laughs> this is like such a big deal. Like it's been so much work and the team's been working so hard over the last few weeks and few months. The entire concept came together six months ago. And it's just so exciting to now have all of you in the room together. So I challenge you and I invite you to participate in this conversation and really learn. The reality is, we are honestly just beginning. So with that, I'd love to kick off Hong Kong's first ever Consumer IoT Summit by saying thank you to all of our sponsors, thank you to Invest Hong Kong and SCED, and to all of you guys who are really coming here to participate in honestly the world's biggest conversation, because it will change the way we've known everything. And now's the time for us to really learn and get involved. Thank you, and let's get started. I hope you guys have an incredible week.